Hey everybody, David Griggs here, Senior Product Manager with AWS Elemental. And today I have the pleasure of talking to you about a really exciting topic. We're going to do an introduction to AWS Elemental Media Connect. Let's have a look at what we're going to talk about today. First of all, I'd like to start these presentations with just a bit of an overview about how AWS Elemental feels about the live video transport industry. Then we're going to introduce Media Connect itself as a product. We're going to look about how customers use Media Connect. And we're also going to look at different workflows using Media Connect. And finally, we're going to look at how easy it is to price out your workflows using AWS Elemental Media Connect. So when we look at the live transport industry today, one thing that I always like to make clear when I do these presentations is that as a company, as Elemental, we recognize that live video transport remains an important, if not critical, part of broadcasters' uh, program requirements. And so we, we recognize that customers are looking for secure, reliable ways to move content around, contribute to the cloud, and are coming under the same cost pressures as other organizations to find better and more cost-effective ways to manage these workflows. When we look at the technologies that customers are using today in their live video transport workflows, broadly speaking, we can categorize them in two ways. One, we call infrastructure providers. When we say infrastructure providers, what we're really talking about here is things like the satellite industry, managed fiber industry. And the challenges that we're hearing our customers have with these types of infrastructure providers is that it's a fairly rigid environment. In other words, it takes a lengthy amount of time, weeks, sometimes months, to negotiate these contracts with the providers. And it also is difficult to find any burst or any flexibility in that. And this has forced some of our customers to start looking at self-managed IP solutions. And that does bring them some agility. That does give them the ability to react quickly to their own customers' requirements. But they're still managing a fleet of infrastructure, whether that be our own EC2 instances or on-prem hardware. There's a management overhead. And this is why we brought AWS Elemental Media Connect uh, into the suite of services that AWS Elemental offer. AWS Elemental Media Connect is a secure and reliable way to manage your live video transportation needs. Let's talk a little bit about why we built the product. You may remember we launched at reInvent some years ago five great services that give our customers both transformation, delivery, monetization, and storage solutions in the cloud. But we recognized quite quickly that we didn't have a very strong story about getting live video into the cloud in the first place to enable those or other cloud-based workflows. And that was really the genesis or the birth, if you like, of AWS Elemental Media Connect. But as we started to flesh out this solution, we realized that we have this great network here at AWS. It's globally reaching, it's managed, it's highly available, high bandwidth. So why not allow our customers to start to explore using AWS Elemental Media Connect for broadcast grade distribution workflows. So when we talk about the different workflows with Media Connect, we're always really coming back to those two same concepts. Contribution, secure, reliable ingest of content into the AWS cloud, and then distribution, the transport of live video around the world using AWS Elemental Media Connect. Now for a product, um, from us that's going to be um, popular and successful in this space, it needs to have some qualities to it. We call those our, our critical tenants. These are things that we believe the software, our solution, our service needs to have in order for it to be applicable for broadcast grade uh, applications. And of course, unsurprisingly, number one is reliability. We recognize and know that IP is lossy, particularly UDP IP. UDP datagrams get squeezed out very early in congested networks. And so in order for this to be uh, a, a reliable transport service, we need a quality of service layer that can sit on top of UDP to give uh, customers the confidence that this is acceptable for those broadcast grade contribution and distribution workflows. What does that boil down to? Well, in our case, of course, it means protocols. And in this case, we've launched with a, a great selection of protocols that will continue to grow as the product evolves over the coming months and years. 
But at launch, and in the product today, we have support for things like forward error correction with RTP, of course. But excitingly, we've partnered with our good friends over at Zigzee, and Media Connect is a natively Zigzee compliant service. In other words, you can use Media Connect today with all of your Zigzee infrastructure. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Zigzee, if you're interested in IP-based uh, networking and transportation of live video, I'm sure it's worth checking out. It's a great protocol, and uh, we're very excited to be part of that ecosystem with AWS Elemental Media Connect. So what does that do? Well, that buys us. Of course, we have our quality network, but having the Zigzee protocol, that combination of ARQ and forward correct, error correction, that gives us some flexibility about that first and all important first and last mile. We, Media Connect will work with direct, correct, direct Connect, of course, but it'll also work just as well on that first and last mile with the public internet. And using the Zigzee protocol and the ARQ settings that it represents, you can increase latency in your stream to give you the quality over some extremely challenging network infrastructure. And lastly, what are we talking about when we say live video with Media Connect? Well, what we're talking about here is transport stream. We're talking about contribution grade, lightly encoded, mezzanine quality video encoded as MPEG transport stream. And we don't cap the limit in terms of what kind of video we'll accept as part of your, your transport workflows, but we certainly have done a lot of testing up to about 80 megabits, and that's a big spectrum. That allows you to work through not only your HD, but your UHD, HDR workflows using AWS Elemental Media Connect. The second thing, of course, equal first for us really is security. The, some of the content that Media Connect handles is incredibly high value, and so we recognize that as content owners, you need to, under, you need to appreciate that it's secure in its transport. So for, in that regard, we offer encryption, end-to-end -end encryption, industry standard, um, uh, speak-enabled encryption. What do I mean by speak-enabled? Well, we've worked, we've expanded our existing speak protocol that we've been successfully using with our package and delivery sol solutions. And we now offer that in support with our, with our conditional access partners and allow you to bring that true conditional access based encryption and digital rights management to your digital uh, live video transport workflows. This slide, I feel like we could talk about this for just about any AWS service. This is this slide really talks about all the things that are good about AWS, right? It's a fully managed service. You're not managing a fleet of infrastructure. You're, this, is in, this is entirely a serverless-based serverless architecture. It has auto-healing and, 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 and auto-scaling. The other, the other important thing is that you can deploy this in a few minutes. We want this to be the opposite of the negoti lengthy negotiations that you have with these managed infrastructure providers. This is something that you can create a London to New York distribution of content within a few clicks, and certainly not the weeks and months that you would typically find yourself negotiating with these managed infrastructure providers. And of course, that great AWS message of pay as you go. You're only paying for the bytes that you use, and you're not signing up for lengthy uh, lengthy utilization commitments and contracts. Another important point with any video distribution workflow is transparency. The AWS network to our customers, we understand, is this large network that you don't have a huge amount of visibility into traditionally, and so we want to give you that confidence and that ability to look into these digital video transport workflows so that you can see how successful your video uh, transport uh, workflows are, are performing. And so with that, that comes down to a host of metrics that we post uh, directly into our CloudWatch service. And each Media Connect instance that you create in an availability zone within a region posts its own metrics into CloudWatch so you can set up your alerts and your alarms and you can monitor exactly how successful. What kind of alerts and what kind of metrics? We're talking about all the network level FEC, ARQ statistics, recovered packets. We're also talking about things like TR1 TR101290, so basic priority one, priority two, transport stream monitoring as well, all built directly into AWS Elemental Media Connect. So let's have a look now at how some customers are using Media Connect. Remember at the beginning, we talked about those two primary workflows, as we call them, the contribution and the distribution use case? Well, this is a classic contribution uh, video pipeline. What you're looking at here is something that AWS Elemental builds every day with our suite of AWS Elemental media services. Here we have a live source 
and that is feeding a contribution encoder. In this case, it's Elemental Live, but we work with any TS-based contribution encoder. Then we're sending a signal into Media Connect, which is then sending a signal into Media Live, into Media Package, and through CloudFront, and then through to your favorite player and distribution. So a full end-to-end -end digital live channel using Media Connect to securely, reliably ingest your content, both over a direct connect connection or a more challenging public internet contribution configuration. The, I, I love this slide because to me, the, the, the beauty of it is in the simplicity. Here, this is the distribution use case using AWS Elemental Media Connect. And if you imagine here, we've got these two instances, one that says region one and one that says region two. Well, let's say region one is Sao Paulo and let's say region two is, is uh, Dublin. In two clicks, and a few minutes of your time invested, you've now set up a, a multi-intercontinental distribution network using Media Connect, sending a 40 megabit stream from one data center to another, uh, in, in, and it's the work of minutes. And I think that really speaks to the power of that distribution use case using AWS Elemental Media Connect. So let's have a look at how we price those workflows using AWS Elemental Media Connect. Well, one of the nice things about these types of video workflows is that the bit rates are quite constant. The peak to average ratio is quite low, and so it's easy to price out and figure out in advance what, the, what your distribution or contribution workflow is gonna cost in terms of, uh, cost you um, in terms of either a contribution or distribution-based workflow. So there are really just two things that we price, two dimensions that we price on when we talk about AWS Elemental Media Connect. And the first one is time for each running instance that you create. And think of an instance as, as of kind of like a network-based distribution amplifier. It's a one signal in, many signal out type topology. And so you take a signal, you reflect it multiple times, and we call that thing that does that reflection a flow. And for each one of those that you create in a region inside an AZ, you pay a running cost per hour. And that varies from region to region. But for example, in Virginia, in our US East One region, it's 16 cents per hour. The second thing that you pay for when you're using AWS Elemental Media Connect, and this wouldn't, won't be surprising, is data transfer. And the great news is that with Media Connect, we don't charge a premium for these high availability protocols. So it's just AWS data transfer rates. And, as, and of course, as with all of our media services, ingest is free. So that is my very quick introduction to what I think is a really exciting service. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, we'll talk soon.